So hey out there in Diamond Painting Land, this is Tina Frazier coming to you from Columbus, Ohio. Today is Saturday, January 18th at approximately 10.45 p.m. Eastern Time. And I'm coming to you today with a little diamond painting update. It's going to be kind of small, um, don't have a whole lot to show you. Um, you can see, I uh, still have my diamond paintings hanging up here. This is the Diamond, Art, or diamond Dots um, uh, Enchanted Reindeer or, you know, Goofy Reindeer with the little gold swirls and everything. I haven't really done anything on it. You can see right here, there's some drills in the little corner. I haven't worked anything on it. I do have a couple of new things, though. Um, really quick, this is going to be kind of a short little diamond painting update video for you. I'm probably not going to edit and um, everything like that. So... <clears throat> Um, as you know from my prior videos, if you watch, I just wanted to say really quick, thank you to all of those people out there who have sub subscribed to my channel over the past couple of years I've been doing this. I hope you find something fun and useful out of this. Um, I talk about crafts, mainly cross stitch and diamond painting. I also do a little bit of ghost hunting stuff. Um, I have a ghost hunting event coming up next weekend, so that'll be fun. Um, so stay tuned for that if you're into it. And, um... I just, <clears throat> it's been kind of busy here the last couple of weeks. Um, that's why I haven't been uh, doing any videos. And um, a little bit of a sad note as well. Um, those of you around the country may have heard of that Pennsylvania Turnpike bus crash that happened two weeks ago tomorrow. Um, I lost a good, dear Derby friend. On that bus she was heading from New York to here in Columbus Ohio to visit a bunch of our Derby friends um, for the weekend she had a long weekend and um, the bus crashed in the middle of the night and she didn't make it um, <laughs> today was her memorial her local memorial she was buried last Friday um, up in Foxfield Preserve which is kind of about two hours north east of Columbus. Um, very nice little memorial burial site up up there and um, it was very fitting burial for her. She was buried in a simple pine box um, because they bury you. They don't embalm you. They bury you and basically let your body become go back to being part of the land. And it's just it, it's just really sad. We never really got to say goodbye. Um, we were all kind of waiting to see her and she never made it. So today was her local memorial. I went to that, that was a lot of fun. I saw some old friends I haven't seen in many years through roller derby and uh, it's um, it was kind of bittersweet. We talked and laughed and cried and talked and it was good. Um, but anyway, so she's, we're missing her. Her name was Eileen, her name was Eileen. Her roller derby name, she skated as Lorraine Acid she was number 59 with Ohio Roller Derby and Suburbia Roller Derby in the New York area. I think it was, I don't know if it's the Bronx team, but there's also Gotham Girls out of New York, but she skated with, um, or Gotham Roller Derby, she skated with Suburbia Roller Derby out there. She was, um, she had graduated from the OSU Dental School here in Columbus, Ohio, and um, she was in New York, um, doing her anesthesia residency or something to that effect and she was just really looking forward to the rest of her life. She was 35, she was quite young and um, well, she died in that bus crash. So we we lost a really good friend, a really shining star. She was such a great person to know and um, I mean we're still kind of feeling her loss. There, you know, a, a lot of us are still quite devastated to learn to lose somebody so young. But anyway, so that's kind of what's been happening with me the last couple of weeks. Also, one little announcement. Those of you that have been watching my channel for a little while also know that back in November, my husband and I, well, last June, my stepdad passed away out in California. And in November, I moved my mom from California to Ohio so she could live with my husband and I. And over the last few months, we have made the executive decision that we would she would purchase a house that all three of us can live in together and uh, we are going to be selling this house so my view here this is in my craft room by the way my my junk room as as 
it is called. But like my diamond, some of my diamond painting drills are in these containers here. Um, cross stitch beads are up here. I have all kinds of supplies behind me on the floor and around me everywhere. All this, all the crafting stuff that I own is pretty much in this room. And this room is a total other mess. Those boxes are votive candles. Um, I am in the Candle of the Month Club for Mia Bella Candles or Sensations out of Wilkesbury, Pennsylvania. And uh, those are some of the votive candles that I've collected over the years. I also have stacks of them right next to me right here. Um, you can't see them, but they're like right here, right here. You can see this box there, but yeah, there's like stacks. I, I have candles and stuff everywhere in this room. A little path that if, if you would just look at this room in my house, you would think I was a hoarder because yeah, I mean, yeah. So there's just stuff piled everywhere in here. Um, anyway, so that being said, um, we are in contract on a house right now. Um, it's a nice little three bedroom house, a little bit across town, but it's much closer to my husband's work. He can walk to work and um, ride his bike quite easily to work. It's only gonna be like a five or 10 minute bike ride for him. Um, and uh, it's a lot closer to my work as well um, because his work is on the way to my work. So it's gonna be a lot closer to my work as well. But it's in a nice little subdivision or area of Columbus known as Minerva Park. And uh, it's a nice three bedroom house. It has a full basement, um, a half finished full basement that my husband and I are going to use as our living space. Three bedrooms upstairs. It has a big sunroom. It's all on one floor. There's a single level, the master bed, bath, or the master bedroom, excuse me has its own bath that is handicap accessible already. And that will be perfect for mother as she grows older. She's in her 70s and um, having that handicap bath will be um, just just perfect for her. I am drinking Swiss Miss Hot Cocoa in my She Who Must Be Obeyed mug. Um, I got this from my sister-in-law, the mug, like 10 or 15 years ago or more. And um, every once in a while I dig it out and use it. But I am drinking Swiss, Swiss Miss Hot Cocoa. This is Marshmallow Lovers with the colorful marshmallows. And we found little marshmallow bits in the ice cream topping section at the grocery store today. I've been looking for the little marshmallow bits in the little shaker tub. Haven't been able to find them. My husband found the colorful marshmallow bits that looks, looks like Lucky Charms marshmallows. They're just the generic store brand. So I bought another bag so I could add more marshmallows to my hot cocoa. But that is just simply Swiss Miss hot cocoa in a mug today. Um, it's kind of cold outside. It was like 48 degrees outside today, but it rained most of the day. And tomorrow it's supposed to be 22 or something goofy. It's supposed to be really cold this next week. We haven't been this cold in quite a while here in Columbus. So, yeah, it's going to be cold. But anyway, so I was talking about the house. And uh, a single level house um, with two car garage. It's on 0.78 acres, so we, we're going to have almost an acre of land. Um, we're still kind of getting through the um, inspection and remedy portion of our um, contract. So we had the inspection this week. We are submitting the remedies for um, what we'd kind of like them to consider fixing or replacing or repairing um, before we take possession of the house. Hopefully, our tentative closing date will be January 31st so it's actually coming up in less than two weeks so month of February is probably going to be really busy for me um, I don't know if um, I'll be doing any videos necessarily in February because I don't know if I'll have any updates or stitchy updates um, for you either diamond painting or stitching or ghost hunting or whatnot I'll at least have probably something about the ghost hunt next weekend but I don't know what what I'm going to be uploading for you. Um, and uh, anyway, so um, the first thing that we've got to do when we take possession of the house, assuming that everything goes okay, is uh, we're going to go in and pull up the carpet and we're going to lay down flooring in the house because A, my husband and I have five cats and cats are assholes. And well, cats being assholes, being the way they are, they like to pee, just kind of wherever they want to pee. 
Um, we have one cat that is particularly an asshole. Well, she's more of a bitch, but that's okay. Sorry about the language, you guys. Um, I don't claim that this is child friendly. Um, if you li let your kids listen to it, you know, that's on you. Um, but yeah, my, my channel isn't necessarily child friendly and I do drop a few, you know, swear words here and there, but anyway, so that being said, you know, the first thing that we're going to do when we take position of the house, um, my husband and I will probably start taking some of our stuff over to the house because our stuff is going in the basement. The basement's already finished. Um, we do have to put a door in one of the basement rooms to block it off from the other part of the basement that has like the furnace and stuff. So, um, because that's going to be where my husband and I sleep and, um, we just need to close that off so our cats don't get back in there. There's no need for them to be in where the front water heater and furnace and everything is. So, um, we're just going to close that off with the door and, um, it, as we work on the flooring, you know, we're going to be taking stuff over that's not going to get in the way of us pulling up all the floors. Um, the other thing that we're going to do is um, it has a convection electric cooktop counter or cooktop stove. And um, we really like gas stoves. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to cut that part of the cupboard. And it's sitting above a really nice cupboard part in one part of the uh kitchen. What we're going to do is basically cut out that cupboard, cut the countertop right there, and we're going to um, have a plumber come in and run gas piping from the furnace to the place where the stove is going to be. So we're going to have, we're going to be getting a gas stove. So the first two big things that we're going to do in the house is we're going to replace all the flooring from carpet to like some sort of laminate or vinyl plank system. And then we're going to um, change out the electric convection cooktop stove with an actual gas stove, with a freestanding gas stove. So those are the two big projects that we've got <laughs> slated. Um, hopefully, those will be done in the first two weeks of February. Assuming that we get the key, hopefully. Hopefully, we'll get the key um, on the 31st and be able to do everything that we want. Um, the other thing I have to do, since it's on almost an acre of land I get to go riding mower shopping because guess who does the yard work guess who mows the yard and it's a big yard you guys so anyway um you may see assuming that everything goes well goes well and the closing is uh, the closing happens um you I will be doing a video hopefully soon it's not going to be separated out by diamond painting by DP tube or floss tube. It's just going to be um, kind of like an interlude video where I kind of show you our new house <laughs> and the land that goes with it. But yeah, I get to, I get to, I get to buy a riding mower, you guys. I get to do that. That'll be fun. Maybe I'll even do a video of me mowing our, mowing our green acre. <laughs> Maybe I'll call it Tina's green acres. I don't know. Tina's green acre. I don't know. Maybe we'll see. But yeah, so that's the big exciting news. Um, we're in the process of trying to buy a house and um, we'll be moving. I have a whole lot of stuff in my house to move. Uh, we haven't even really started packing yet because we own our house. And the nice thing about that is um, it, we're gonna take our time getting stuff ready at the other house for us to move in. And then um, once we're ready at the other house and we start moving stuff in, um, we're gonna do a few things around this house because we own this house. We're going to do a few things around this house and then put it up for sale. So we have, um, we figured probably it might be up for sale maybe summertime this year. Um, we'll see. It kind of depends on how long it takes us to move out. But um, yeah, we're really excited about a new house. Um, pause just for a minute, all right? I have something I need to take care of. Thanks. So hi, I'm back. Sorry about that. Anyway, so um, those of you that are what did I do with it hold on just a minute okay so sorry about that I had to find what I was what I was going to talk about um so those of you that have watched some of my diamond painting videos know that my husband and I and now my mom we go to Hobby Lobby quite often um just because it's some place to go shop and my mom my mom's Hobby Lobby has just opened up in California this summer um, not that long ago. So she's, she doesn't have very much experience at Hobby Lobby. So we go, um, we go up to one of our Hobby Lobbies usually on a Friday night 
and we one of our favorite um, Tex-Mex Mexican restaurants, Chili Verde, is up by the Hobby Lobby um, north of town. So we'll go up there, um, go to Hobby Lobby, maybe go to the Joann's and then go eat at Chili Verde for dinner. Um, it's one of our favorite Friday things to do. So that being said, when you first walk into Hobby Lobby, you know, off to either the left or the right side, they have their um, seasonal um, items for sale. Usually this time of year is Valentine's. Um, and it's also going into spring stuff. So you may you may start seeing Easter stuff pop in there too. But um, now they have their seasonal Valentine's stuff. So when we were in there a couple weeks ago, I went through the seasonal aisle and I found this. Gemstone Art Kit makes two stickers. You can see there's two different heart stickers. There is the, um, the striped heart with the arrow through it and then the um, stylized heart in behind it. So there's these little gemstone art kits. They do come with the drills, a tray, a pen, and some wax. But these are little stickers that you can make. So I will go ahead and open, open mine up. My mom's already completed her kit. These retail for $4.99. And they're from the, um, this is the Valentine's Crafts, but they're put out by, um, Brother Sister Design Studio. Brother Sister Design Studio. This is a Hobby Lobby thing. So it kind of tells you the instructions, um, what to do, but as a diamond cleaner, you should already know. So here are you, your two stickers. Why are they sticking in here? Okay. So here are your two stickers. The first one is this little stylized heart. There are several different shapes in here. Um, several different sizes of drills and little heart shaped drills. Okay, and then here is the um, the uh, striped heart with the arrows going through it and the other little heart. So, um, it comes with basically four colors, four drill colors and little pink hearts. I will show you the hearts. It has little pink hearts, little pink heart shapes that you can put on your thing. And then you have a red. This is a very bright red. You have a white. You have a dark hot pink kind of color. And then you have a pink color. And these are rounds. All these little kits are round drills. Um, and then you have your typical kit. You have your pad of wax. You have your little round tray. These round trays are cheap. You have your drill pin. Your drill pin has the little plastic tips on them. I haven't used these little plastic tips yet, but they're kind of, I don't know. They, they just These kits just feel real cheap. But what I was going to say about these little round um, boats, there are no um, there are no bumps or ridges or anything on the, on the inside of the boat. So when you shake your drills, they don't tend to lay really flat. So I usually use these for trash. So you will get the basic kit. Um, one thing I do want to say, my mom has made a recommendation to everybody. So mom has a recommendation on this heart. This is the heart that you will use the little heart shapes. You see those little pink hearts in the middle in this area. She's made a recommendation. She did all the drills in the little round colors and all the rest of the hearts. And she got to the, the pink hearts. Those are the only things she had to do. She had trouble feeding these little pink hearts in all of, in between all of the drills that were in here because the hearts are bigger than the little shapes on the sticker. So her recommendation to you is do the little hearts first when you do the sticker, if you get this kit, do the hearts first. Do the little pink hearts first and then diamond paint all the rest of them all the way around the hearts because then you will actually get all your little hearts on your little sticker. But yeah, so this, this is covered by a little, um, by a clear plastic sheet. There we go. Oh, now I'm pulling up the sticker. Hmm. Okay. Pulling up the sticker. Anyway. 
So these are stickers. Oh, come on. I'm pulling the sticker off of the sticker sheet. Anyway, so I have to figure out how to get the cover off of the sticker so you can actually stick it on your thing. Anyway, so yeah, so there's they're covered by a clear vinyl, a clear piece of um, overlay on this. And there's a little little bubble on here, but um, yeah, Let's see if I can get. is a clear vinyl sticker I'm trying to get the top sheet off so you can see you can test out we can test out the stickiness but I'm having trouble getting the top sheet to release there no that's annoying that's about annoying <coughs> yeah that is really annoying joy Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull this off or not without pulling the sticker part off. I don't know. I'm not going to be able to do it. It's going to be tricky. So anyway, but yeah, Mom's recommendation on this is to do the hearts first. So those are the little sticker kits that, um, the sticker diamond painting kits that you can get from Hobby Lobby. And it seems to me like they've been coming out with these kits for pretty much every holiday of the year. Which is kind of nice. Yeah, my bad cutting the other deck. So yeah, there are the drills, the kit, and the stickers. So there you have it. The little holiday diamond painting kits. This is actually going to be a little longer video than I thought. And that's kind of cool. So yeah, the little sticker kits. And then, while we were someplace, I believe we went to AC Moore. Our AC Moore here in Columbus, our AC Moores here in Columbus are shutting down. Um, they're becoming, the company was bought out by Michaels. And well, Michaels has so many other places here in Columbus that they're going to shut the AC Moors down. So our AC Moors have been having fit up to 50 or 60% off store-wide savings. So, um, we, we kind of go there also on Friday nights just to see what their discounts are. I'm really sad they're closing because they just opened up in like June, July, and August around here. And uh, really sad they're closing down because they have a lot of different stuff than Michael's, Joann's, and Hobby Lobby. And it just gave me one more craft store to go to. But while I was there, their Christmas Diamond Dots kits um, were like 70% off. Look at this little cat, you guys. Look at this little cat. He's so cute. He's cat. Chrissy Kitty. It's a she, I suppose. I suppose it could be a male Chrissy. But yeah. So this is a partial Diamond Dots kit. So you have your canvas area there. And then you have your drill area. Whoops. And you have your drill area. Partial kit. It's going to go really fast. Chris and Kitty. I will open it up for you. Maybe. Do 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 do. There's one side. There's the other side. Close these back up. Put them away. Safety first. All right. So Diamond Dots kits. All of Diamond Dots kits are round drill. Okay. So you have your Diamond Dots. Add some sparkle to your world. That's their motto. And here is your diamond packet. This is DD5.011 Chrissy Kitty. That's how you know you got the right kit. And these have the four-digit um, diamond arc or diamond dots 
uh, color codes. These are different color codes than the DMC. Um, most Diamond Dots kits um, give you extra. This is a really short kind of thing. Um, it's I believe it's less than 12 inches long. Um, I can measure this out for you. Um, yeah, it is less than 12 inches long. No, it's actually 12 inches long. Yeah, 12 and a half inches long, maybe. 12 inches long, something like that. So, yeah. I just ripped the, ripped the thing open. That's always good. So, in your Diamond Dots thing, um, all of Diamond Dots are round drill. And they also give you this sheet. Multi-language sheet on how to diamond paint. We'll show you that. So it's just a little instruction sheet on how to diamond paint and I believe it's in nine different languages. Okay. But here is the canvas. For oh my god that cat is so 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 stinking cute. Okay. Chrissy kitty. Cute little cat. This should take no time to work on. Um yeah. So this, this one has 23 colors. Um, the different thing about this, this one is over here you have the symbols and the colors for the kit. And way over here, <coughs> you have the <coughs> diamond dots, four digit color code. So here is the kit. It only has the one, um, the one legend on it in the upper right corner upper left corner sorry he's gonna be cute you guys he's gonna be really cute to do I think he's gonna be fun um, a lot of white there's different shading in it and uh, almost all diamond dots kits come with training wheels and almost all of their canvases are always super duper clear so yeah and it's canvas quality on Diamond Dots kits tends to be really sticky and they all come with this clear stuff so yeah it's really sticky um, everything is cool so this is listed as a design size 27 by 35 fabric size 32 by 40 so 27 by 35 this cute little diamond painting it's Chrissy Kitty He's cute. So, there you have it. And that is all the diamond painting updates I have for you today. Um, I have not been diamond painting. Um, just haven't really been in the mood. I've been doing a lot with stitching and some of the stitching challenge groups that I'm in. Um, but I uh, haven't really been doing much diamond painting. Um, hopefully that'll change. I don't know how much I'll be doing before we move. So I might actually pull it some out and work on it before or like after we move as my go-to piece. But uh, yeah, so that's kind of annoying. The sticky part of the thing was left at the bottom of the bag. The sticky part of the thing was left at the bottom of the bag. Anyway, so I don't know how much diamond painting I will actually be getting to before we actually move. So, um, my goal for 2020, I don't have any really, really many goals for this year. Oh, I suppose you want to see the drills. Let's go see the drills on this first. Alright. Sorry, not sorry about the pink one. We'll look at the uh, drill kit. So, in this one, you have a uh, frosty diamond painting pen with a single pleaser tip. You have a blue squishy. You have their um, nice little wax pot, a gray boat with funnel, and some baggies. So, I don't think this is going to have any AB drills, but here's the second set. There's a lot of whites and creams. 8415, 8147, 
sprays, some tans, some pinks. And then you have, um, there's 23 colors, some brown and blues. And then you have greens. This is your greens. And some of your Christmas suit reds. And then some more. We have ABs. Those are ABs. 5001. 5001 is AB white, so there are AB girls in this. Obviously, it's either going to go in the cat's hat or in the cat's body. We don't know as of yet. So anyway, it does have AB drills. So there you have it. Chrissy Kitty by Diamond Dots. Right? Um, but yeah, as I said, um, I don't know what my plans are going to be for 2020. I'd like to get a good chunk of my diamond paintings finished. I know that I am going to be ordering some diamond paintings um, here soon because um, I have a couple of ideas for um, a custom diamond painting that I want to order as a gift for like, somebody in my household, my mom. Um, but I have a diamond painting that I want to order for her um, as, as a custom order. Um, I already have talked, reached out to one or two of the diamond painting companies about it. And um, hopefully I will be able to place the order and get it here relatively soon so we can enjoy doing this diamond painting together. Um, but I don't really have any other um, plans for 2020. Um, one of the other things I wanted to show you because um, we will be moving and um, most of my stitching stuff is actually going to be in the basement where my husband and I are going to be living. We're going to be basement trolls for a while. Um, most of my craft stuff is going to be downstairs in the basement. I did, at Michael's, find on clearance this. Um, it's actually a uh, gift wrap hanging station where you can put a bunch of gift wrap in it and put bows in the top. It's um, almost like one of those cloth shoe organizers that you can hang in your closet on the um, the bar. And it has little pockets for shoes. Well, this is a big thing. So if you bear with me, um, I will get up and show it to you. Because um, I put all my diamond paintings in it. So this is what the organizer looks like. It's rather tall. See, it's a tall, it's a tall thing. Has all my diamond painting kits in it. And so basically it's it's a Christmas wrapping paper organizer, but you can access it through here. And then it has basically, uh, this is pretty much all my diamond painting stash, except for the big one that's still up right here that is a big peacock that won't actually fit in here but yeah this is a lot of my diamond dots and um, these are my DIY diamond shop um, some other diamond paintings in here that I have mostly all of these are diamond dots though diamond dots kits and so my crazy kitty is actually going to go in here with all the rest of my diamond paintings hopefully maybe Maybe, maybe not. I'll have to do this later because I don't think she's going to fit right now. All right. So I just kind of wanted to show you that. I got this at Michael's and it was in their clearance section for their holiday thing. So one of the other things I think I should show you is up here is this wood box in here. Or it's not a wood box, but it's a box. And um, you're not going to be able to see that. But these are where my drills for the diamond painting kits that I have couple of them are the ones hanging up behind me, um, but the drills are sitting up in here too. And uh, this is just to kind of keep them handy for when we move and for storing down in our living area in the basement of the new house. But you can see there's several diamond dots kits and stuff in here. 
So this is my Diamond Dots storage. So that is all I have for you tonight. Um, yeah, I forgot what my new slogan was going to be. I came up with a cute new slogan before, and I don't remember what it's going to be. So anyway, just do your best. Um, I hope your new year is going good so far. Mine's going okay. Um, we're just kind of plugging along and hanging in there and hoping for the best for our purchase of a new house. So anyway, take care. And until I see you again... Um, keep on diamond painting, keep on buying all those <laughs> kits, um, and just keep doing what you do best and enjoy yourself because, you know, life is short and you may not get to see everybody and just tell everybody that you love them because you may not get to see them tomorrow. Um, take care and we'll see you soon. Bye now.